Apollo astronaut breaks in tears. The moon is not what you think. Forty years ago, Buzz Aldrin became the second man to walk on the moon. He was there for two and a half hours, but the breakdown which followed lasted a decade. It turns out the moon is not at all what we thought. In this video, Buzz Aldrin will reveal it all to you. Let's get started. Buzz Aldrin is a name that epitomizes the very essence of adventure, bravery, and pioneering human achievement. When the words Apollo 11 are uttered, it immediately conjures up images of that historic mission to the moon, with Buzz Aldrin playing a crucial role in its success. He is the man who boldly walked on the lunar surface, danced with the stars in the vastness of space, and became the living embodiment of humanity's unquenchable thirst to explore beyond the boundaries of our home planet. Buzz Aldrin brought a unique combination of academic brilliance and military precision to the Apollo 11 mission. Armed with a PhD from the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, he was not just a space explorer, but a highly educated and intellectually gifted individual. His expertise in rendezvous techniques was pivotal to the success of the Apollo 11 mission. He knew how to navigate spacecraft to meet and dock with other objects in space, a skill that was essential for the lunar module's rendezvous with the command module. However, Buzz Aldrin was not merely a scholar in an astronaut suit. He was an ace fighter pilot with a combat record from the Korean War, adding the title of action hero to his already impressive resume. His courage and combat experience made him an ideal candidate for the rigorous training and challenging missions of the early space program. Aboard Apollo 11, Buzz Aldrin held the crucial role of the lunar module pilot. While this designation might sound limited in scope, its significance cannot be overstated. He was responsible for managing the intricate systems of the lunar module, aptly named Eagle. Aldrin's role was multifaceted and challenging. He had to ensure that Eagle could safely land on the moon's surface and later ascend to rendezvous with the command module piloted by Neil Armstrong. Every switch, every indicator light, every piece of data was under Aldrin's vigilant scrutiny. He was tasked with making split-second decisions, handling potential technical issues, and maintaining the spacecraft's trajectory with utmost precision. In essence, Buzz Aldrin was the linchpin in the delicate balance between the mission's success and the potential for catastrophe. The descent to the moon marked a moment of breathtaking tension and anticipation, a moment etched in the collective memory even decades later. As the lunar module, known as Eagle, separated from the command module, it was guided by the steady hands and sharp mind of Buzz Aldrin, commencing its historic journey towards the lunar surface. This journey was laden with numerous challenges and obstacles that tested the astronauts' metal. The navigation computer sounded alarms, boulders littered the designated landing site, and the fuel supply dwindled precariously. In the face of these daunting challenges, Buzz Aldrin, in collaboration with Neil Armstrong, demonstrated a remarkable calmness and poise that defied belief. With fuel levels decreasing rapidly, they made split-second decisions that were critical to the success of their mission. Through their expert piloting and quick thinking, they ensured a safe and momentous landing on the moon's Sea of Tranquility. Following Neil Armstrong's iconic declaration, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Buzz Aldrin embarked on his own lunar descent, becoming the second human to set foot on the alien lunar landscape. As he descended the ladder and made contact with the moon's surface, he was struck by the surreal beauty and desolation of this new world. He famously described the view as magnificent desolation, a poetic expression that captured the paradoxical allure and barrenness of the lunar environment. Buzz Aldrin's activities on the moon extended far beyond just planting the American flag and setting up experiments. He demonstrated the unique blending of scientific exploration and profound human experience. 
Aldrin even found a moment for spiritual reflection, engaging in a symbolic act of communion on the lunar surface. This act served as a poignant reminder of his dual role as both a scientist and a humanist, showcasing the harmonious fusion of rigorous technical endeavor with the profound essence of the human spirit. Aldrin's interactions with the moon transcended the serious business of scientific exploration. He playfully showcased the moon's reduced gravity, hopping and skipping, moving with a childlike enthusiasm that captured the imagination and wonder of millions of people watching back on Earth. During his historic sojourn on the lunar surface, Buzz Aldrin not only left an indelible mark through his actions, but also through his lens, capturing moments that would become iconic in the annals of space exploration. One of his most famous photographs is the image of his boot print imprinted in the moon's soil, revealing the fascinating effects of pressure on the lunar surface. This image, a testament to human presence on an alien world, symbolized the tangible achievement of the Apollo 11 mission. In another groundbreaking moment, Buzz Aldrin took one of the first selfies in space. This seemingly simple act represented a profound shift in the way we perceive ourselves and our place in the universe. The selfie was a reflection of the human desire to document and share the extraordinary with the world. Aldrin also played a pivotal role in one of the most iconic photos ever taken, captured by Neil Armstrong, which showed Aldrin saluting the American flag on the moon's surface. This poignant image with Armstrong's reflection visible in Aldrin's helmet visor encapsulated the profound sense of patriotism, achievement, and unity that the Apollo 11 mission represented. Beyond these photographic achievements, Buzz Aldrin participated in a historic phone call with President Richard Nixon. In this conversation, President Nixon congratulated Aldrin and Armstrong on their remarkable achievement, lauding them as the two most famous men in all history. He emphasized that their monumental leap to the moon was not just a personal accomplishment, but a giant leap for all of humanity, a sentiment that echoed the collective aspirations of the world at that time. As their lunar excursion came to a close, Buzz Aldrin re-entered the lunar module after Neil Armstrong, preparing for the crucial ascent. He activated a switch that sent an electric current to ignite the ascent engine, propelling them off the moon's surface and setting them on the path back to Earth. This critical step marked the beginning of their journey home and was a testament to the precision and skill of the Apollo 11 crew. Subsequently, Aldrin expertly piloted the lunar module to rendezvous with Michael Collins, who had been orbiting the moon in the command module named Columbia. This reunion marked the reunion of the entire Apollo 11 crew, setting the stage for their safe return to Earth. Buzz Aldrin's contributions to the Apollo 11 mission extended far beyond the technical realm. They encompassed his indomitable spirit and a willingness to share his vulnerabilities with the world. Notably, during the mission to the moon, Aldrin experienced a condition that would later become a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration. Aldrin's ordeal with space sickness marked a monumental event. He became the first human to suffer from this condition in space. Space sickness, akin to motion sickness, occurs when the inner ear and the eyes send conflicting signals to the brain about the body's orientation and movement in the weightlessness of space. The symptoms of space sickness can be severe, including nausea, vomiting, dizziness, headache, fatigue, and loss of appetite. In a shocking revelation, Aldrin's space sickness was not widely reported or discussed at the time. NASA, ever focused on promoting the positive aspects of the mission and avoiding negative publicity, chose to keep this issue discreet. However, Buzz Aldrin later shared this personal struggle in his autobiography and during interviews and documentaries. Aldrin's decision to speak openly about his experience with space sickness was motivated by a desire to help fellow astronauts and future space travelers. By sharing his story, he aimed to assist in preparing for and preventing space sickness, acknowledging that it could be a significant challenge for those venturing into space. 
his candidness illustrated his commitment to the safety and well-being of spacefarers. Furthermore, Aldrin's openness about his vulnerability was an act of humanity and humility. By revealing his struggles, he underscored the notion that even extraordinary individuals like astronauts are not invulnerable. He wanted to show that he, too, was human and subject to the same physical and emotional challenges as anyone else. Buzz Aldrin's encounter with space sickness during the Apollo 11 mission was a pivotal and challenging moment. Occurring on the third day of the mission while he was engaged in a series of maneuvers and experiments inside the command module known as Columbia. His experiences during this critical phase of the mission were both fascinating and fraught with difficulties. Aldrin's tasks in the command module included testing a sextant, a precision instrument used to measure the angle between two celestial objects, which, in turn, was vital for determining the spacecraft's position and velocity. This was a fundamental component of navigation in space and was crucial for the mission's success. Additionally, he conducted a zero-gravity experiment involving a floating pen and a piece of paper, revealing the peculiar physics of weightlessness. However, it was during these activities that Aldrin began to feel unwell and disoriented. He experienced discomfort and nausea, particularly after sudden head movements or position changes. Recognizing the significance of his condition and its potential impact on the mission, Aldrin dutifully reported his ailment both to Mission Control and to his fellow crewmates, Neil Armstrong and Mikhail Collins. In response to his condition, Aldrin took measures to Kopi with his space sickness. He administered medication, rested, and avoided sudden movements to minimize the distress he was experiencing. To settle his stomach, he consumed water and crackers, all the while grappling with the lingering discomfort. Although he did not vomit, the persistent nausea and discomfort continued for approximately two days. Aldrin's apprehension during this ordeal was palpable. He was deeply concerned that his space sickness could compromise his performance and, in turn, jeopardize the entire mission. Furthermore, he worried about how the public would react to his condition. As an iconic astronaut and a national hero, he felt the weight of expectations and did not wish to tarnish his image. Buzz Aldrin's recovery from space sickness came as a fortunate turn of events, and it allowed him to fulfill his pivotal role as the lunar module pilot during the Apollo 11 mission. He would later become the second person to set foot on the moon, walking beside Neil Armstrong, and execute his duties without any complications. However, beyond his incredible lunar journey, Aldrin's post-mission revelations introduced a dimension of intrigue and mystery that continues to captivate the imagination of many. One of the most intriguing suggestions put forth by Buzz Aldrin revolves around the potential existence of hidden structures or even a base on the far side of the moon. This notion, regardless of its scientific feasibility, carries with it an abundance of excitement and the allure of the unknown. Aldrin's tantalizing hints regarding these lunar enigmas have stirred the curiosity of those who ponder the mysteries of the cosmos. Aldrin's assertions have surfaced in interviews, public appearances, and discussions where he has referenced peculiar anomalies observed on the moon. These anomalies are characterized by strange and unexplained structures or formations that defy easy dismissal as natural geological features. Rather, in Aldrin's perspective, these anomalies could be suggestive of something more profound, a hidden lunar base or the remnants of an ancient civilization, or even artifacts of extraterrestrial origin. The far side of the moon, often referred to as the dark side, is a realm that has remained largely unexplored, concealed from our direct view due to the moon's synchronous rotation, which causes it to always face away from Earth. This hidden hemisphere has been shrouded in mystery, where the unknown could easily find refuge, and our limited knowledge leaves ample space for remarkable possibilities. Buzz Aldrin's intriguing suggestion taps into the inherent mystique of the far side of the moon, igniting the human imagination and intensifying our collective yearning for exploration and comprehension.
The notion that there might be concealed structures or a base on the moon adds a layer of fascination to this enigmatic region of our celestial neighbor. Aldrin's comments have ignited a passionate wave of excitement and speculation among both space enthusiasts and the curious at large. Intriguingly, people have embarked on a quest to analyze lunar images, scrutinizing them for signs of artificial construction. Some individuals have claimed to identify potential evidence of towers, bridges, and even complex installations. While many of these findings may be attributed to pareidolia, an innate tendency to perceive familiar patterns in random stimuli, the mere fact that a seasoned astronaut of Buzz Aldrin's caliber entertained the idea lends a level of seriousness that is difficult to disregard. Buzz Aldrin's interest in the potential of hidden structures or bases on the far side of the moon goes beyond mere idle speculation. It is underpinned by a deep-seated enthusiasm for rekindling lunar exploration, particularly on the mysterious fair side. His call for this renewed exploration is driven by a profound desire to not only satisfy our inherent curiosity, but also to unlock knowledge that could have far-reaching implications for humanity's understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. The notion that there might be ancient structures or even extraterrestrial bases on the moon suggests a treasure trove of possibilities. Discovering and studying these enigmatic features could yield technological advancements that may revolutionize various fields of science and technology. Additionally, it might unravel historical revelations that rewrite our understanding of Earth's closest celestial neighbor. Furthermore, it could usher in a completely new perspective on life in the universe, altering our views of potential past or current extraterrestrial activity. Beyond the scientific and intellectual prospects, Aldrin's proposition embodies a spirit of adventure and exploration that resonates with the dreams and aspirations of the young and old alike. The concept that there could be hidden treasures waiting to be discovered on the moon evokes the thrill of exploration, harking back to the days of intrepid explorers and treasure hunters who ventured into uncharted territories marked with the warning, here be dragons. The unknown becomes a siren song, a call to those with the courage to boldly venture into the unexplored, embodying the same adventurous spirit that has driven humanity to reach beyond its limits throughout history. Buzz Aldrin's idea of hidden structures on the moon aligns seamlessly with the insatiable human drive to explore new frontiers, which has defined the space age. The prospect of concealed lunar structures poses an irresistible challenge to the human intellect and spirit. It prompts a myriad of captivating questions. What are these structures? Who built them? How old are they? These inquiries constitute the modern holy grail of exploration, a tantalizing quest that thrills the imaginations of scientists, adventurers, and seekers of knowledge alike. Buzz Aldrin's impassioned call for lunar exploration and investigation is a resounding declaration of curiosity, adventure, and the unyielding pursuit of knowledge. It is a testament to the enduring belief that we have not yet plumbed the depths of all there is to understand about our universe. His call serves as a clarion call that reverberates with those who refuse to accept that we have unraveled every cosmic mystery. It ignites the flame of imagination, inspiring scientists, explorers, and dreamers to continue their pursuit of the great unknown. Amidst the backdrop of lunar exploration, few incidents capture the imagination quite like Buzz Aldrin's account of an enigmatic object observed during the historic Apollo 11 mission to the moon in July 1969. The world's attention was firmly fixed on this unprecedented voyage, where Armstrong, Collins, and Aldrin constituted the triumphant trio representing humanity's first bold steps onto the lunar surface. As the Apollo 11 crew hurtled through the vast, dark expanse of space within their command module, Buzz Aldrin's attention was abruptly seized by an extraordinary sight that would go on to ignite debates, 
inspire countless theories, and sustain the flames of cosmic curiosity for decades to come. Gazing out of the window, Aldrin's eyes locked onto a peculiar object that was floating alongside their spacecraft. It was no mere fleeting glimpse. This object was undeniably there, a tangible and very real presence in the inky void. This was no ordinary space debris, nor was it a component of their spacecraft. It stood apart as an anomaly of the most tantalizing kind. What set this sighting apart was not just the existence of the object, but the impeccable credentials of the observer. Buzz Aldrin was no casual observer. He was an astronaut, a man of science, meticulously trained to observe, record, and report with the utmost precision and accuracy. He had endured countless hours of rigorous training, simulations, and tests to prepare for the day he would venture into the great unknown of space. It was an experience that had honed his senses and reinforced his commitment to documenting every facet of the mission. So, imagine for a moment being thousands of miles from Earth, enveloped by the silent, infinite abyss of space, and then, suddenly, catching sight of something inexplicable right outside your window. The natural question that would inevitably surface in anyone's mind is, what on Earth? Or rather, what off Earth? Is that? One can only envision the bewilderment and intrigue that must have permeated Aldrin and his fellow crewmates during this extraordinary encounter. Intriguingly, the astronauts aboard Apollo 11 were initially hesitant to promptly relay their peculiar sighting to mission control, adding an extra layer of mystery to this unfolding cosmic drama. Instead, they opted for a more indirect approach to gather information about what they were observing. Their initial instinct was to inquire about the location of the stage of the Saturn V rocket that they had detached from earlier during their mission. This was a deliberate attempt to determine if what Buzz Aldrin had cited could be attributed to this discarded rocket component. The response from Mission Control confirmed that the stage they inquired about was a staggering 6,000 miles away from their current position. This definitive answer cast aside any possibility that the object Aldrin was observing was linked to the discarded rocket stage. Thus, it was unmistakably distinct from the known components of their spacecraft. The revelation of this information triggered a surge of speculation and conjecture among the astronauts and space enthusiasts alike. Was the object a mere optical illusion, an artifact of light and reflection within the spacecraft's interior? Or could it be something far more profound? Many dared to ponder whether this sighting might constitute evidence of an intelligent entity, perhaps one of extraterrestrial origin, taking a keen interest in humanity's pioneering journey to the moon. The enigma of this unexplained object captivated the imaginations of those who yearned to unearth the truth hidden amidst the vastness of space. What makes this event even more captivating is that Buzz Aldrin did not retreat from discussing the mysterious sighting upon returning to Earth. Instead, he openly shared his account in interviews and conversations. He offered candid descriptions of what he saw, the emotions he experienced, and his personal interpretations of the event. Aldrin was careful not to hastily jump to conclusions, but he was unequivocal in his assertion that he had witnessed something genuinely unidentifiable. His willingness to share this experience added an extra layer of authenticity to the story. Aldrin's encounter during the Apollo 11 mission serves as a compelling reminder that space remains a vast and predominantly unexplored frontier. Even with our most advanced technology and our brightest minds engaged in scientific inquiry, there are myriad aspects of the cosmos that remain enigmatic. Aldrin's encounter underscores the tantalizing prospect of countless mysteries yet hidden in the cosmos, awaiting discovery. The sighting of the unexplained object has prompted many to delve deeper into the mysteries of space, to pose profound questions about the universe and humanity's place within it.
It has served as an inspiration to both seasoned scientists and amateur astronomers to keep their eyes fixed on the heavens and maintain open minds, ready to embrace the infinite possibilities that the cosmos presents. In the annals of space exploration, the Apollo 11 mission stands as a pinnacle of human achievement. Yet, it's these unanticipated and unexplained twists that infuse the narrative with an extra touch of magic and wonder, leaving a profound mark on our collective imagination. But the intrigue doesn't end with this particular encounter. Buzz Aldrin's beliefs extend to the notion that Earth is not alone in this vast universe. When one pauses to contemplate the staggering vastness of the cosmos, it becomes almost inconceivable to assume that our planet is the sole harbinger of life, with billions of galaxies, each harboring billions of stars, and each of those stars potentially sheltering numerous planets. The idea that Earth is a unique cosmic anomaly appears increasingly diminutive. Aldrin passionately underscores this point, emphasizing that the notion of Earth's singularity in the cosmos becomes improbable when confronted with such overwhelming vastness. Buzz Aldrin has never been one to shy away from monumental ideas and feats. This is the same individual who, alongside Neil Armstrong, etched history by taking that giant leap for mankind onto the lunar surface. His feet touched alien soil long before most of us had ever contemplated the prospect of otherworldly neighbors. It is his first-hand experiences and the weight they carry that lend credence to his beliefs and ignite our imaginations, pushing us to explore the grandeur of the cosmos. Buzz Aldrin's perspective on the existence of extraterrestrial life is one that mirrors the insatiable curiosity of human space exploration. If humans can venture upon the moon, why wouldn't other life forms, on their own celestial bodies, gaze at their moons and stars, pondering the limitless possibilities that the cosmos offers? Aldrin's fervor for space exploration and his unwavering commitment to deepening our comprehension of the universe are palpable. He has immersed himself in the alien, the otherworldly, and the cosmic unknowns, emerging with a conviction that reverberates through the very fabric of space-time. We are not alone. Aldrin's cosmic perspective is profound. He likens the universe to a vast ocean teeming with diverse species, from the tiniest plankton to the colossal blue whale. If Earth represents just a single drop in this cosmic ocean, it seems preposterous to presume that life is exclusive to that one minuscule drop. The wonders of the universe at transcend human comprehension, but each day our scientists and astronomers make discoveries that continually push the boundaries of our understanding. Exoplanets, worlds beyond our solar system, are being unveiled at an exhilarating pace. Many of these exoplanets recede within the Goldilocks zone, that magical region around a star where conditions may be just right for life as we know it. If the idea of discovering exoplanets and the potential for extraterrestrial life doesn't ignite your imagination, consider this. The exoplanets we've found are merely the tip of the cosmic iceberg. Countless more undoubtedly await our discovery, conceivably teeming with life, each with its unique stories and possibilities. Aldrin's convictions carry a subtle but compelling challenge to humanity. He implores us to continue our cosmic journey, not just as a proclamation of belief in extraterrestrial life, but as a clarion call for sustained exploration. His vision extends beyond Earth, beckoning towards a future where interstellar travel is not a mere facet of science fiction, but a tangible reality. Envision the potential. Encounters with other civilizations, immersion in diverse cultures, and the unraveling of cosmic enigmas. Beyond biological entities, one can imagine silicon-based life forms, sentient beings floating on gas giants, or even life manifested as pure energy. The universe is an infinite playground of potential, and Aldrin's unwavering belief serves as a testament to the limitless possibilities that await our exploration. What do you think about Buzz Aldrin's revelations about the moon's eyes? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video.
Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.